Welcome back to Living Local Carolina. I'm your host, Jessica Grace. Coming up is A Father's Place, but first let's explore the Theater of the Republic. This theater has some amazing productions headed our way this year. We're getting ready to explore Full Monty. Check it out. This story is sponsored by Theater of the Republic. So today we are with Tim McGee. He is the executive director of the Theater of the Republic, also known as TOR. And I am so glad we have this opportunity to speak with you. How are you? I am fine, and welcome to the Theater of the Republic. I want to hear a little bit about Full Monty. What's Full Monty all about? It's about a bunch of steel workers who lost their jobs. And they happened to go by a nightclub, and they saw a line of women going around the club paying $50 to get in to see Chippendales. One of the guys says, let's do our own Chippendales and you have every shape and size of factory workers. And it's just comedy, but it also tells you how desperate people can be to support their families. So Tim, I've heard that Full Monty is extremely funny. Funny and naughty. <laughs> and guess what? Today I'm having an early rehearsal oh. because some of my actors can't be here during the night. So they're going to be coming in and doing a little dance. So if you want to stick around and yes. see it, that'd be great. Let's check it but out. <laughs> you got to make sure no children are in the room. Okay. Just kidding. It's really naughty. It's naughty. <laughs> Let's check it out. This story is sponsored by Theater of the Republic. Now let's explore A Father's Place. Excited to have Wallace here with us today from A Father's Place. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. I can't wait to hear about your organization. It just sounds so impactful. So tell us about it. We are the, the Father Engagement Initiative for this region, serving Georgetown, Ori, and Williamsburg counties. We are all about making every day a Father's Day, right? Yeah. Because dads oh. make a difference in the lives of children. And when you have engaged fathers, children thrive. And so we want children to thrive. And so we just provide uh, an array of supportive services to help great dads become even greater. I love what you said, helping every day to be, to be a Father's Day. Yes. You know, making sure that the fathers feel loved mm -hmm. and su supported. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell us about the services you offer. Uh, literally, I consider us a one-stop shop for fathers. You walk in our doors, we're going to do a comprehensive assessment, and we're going to come up with a unique plan for each man. So we're talking about education, uh, employment, getting on a career path, mediation between the, the two parents, helping assist with getting access to the children, be it a legal visitation order, is it custody. We are there to help the men um, with whatever situation they might find themselves in to move forward, to overcome those barriers to being the dad that they're called to be. So we're going to be either in-house um, with our current staff or through our network of partners. We're gonna make certain that each man gets served. We wanna have something in our program for every man. We're helping those men and those young men especially uh, change the narrative, right? To become better men, to become better fathers, not to replicate the poor story, right? To be replaced with a good story, being engaged. So we have you know, tons of testimonials of fathers who've been served who have come from a, a father absent home, but the light bulb went off and they're now engaged and they're, they're being great um, um, dads. And the other key component that we have is what's called a reality check. We give young men a re reality check about becoming a father too soon. 
help them understand the economic consequences, the psychological, the emotional consequences, help them make wise and responsible decisions. We got a federal grant for that, and the young men are really responding well to that. They, they enjoy the sessions when they learn about the cost of raising a child to the age of 18, you know, getting on that career path as well, because a huge part of that is helping them be more future oriented and thinking about what do they want to be and how having a child too soon can derail um, their future. Horry County Literacy Council is after this.